How many rounds do you prefer? Two to three. <laughs> Tell them subscribe. Subscribe. Tell them subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Sub, uh, sub, sub, subscribe. <laughs> Majirani na walika kwangu mukuje aliko Spoke andugu na dada salamu Kujeni tukule pilau maridadi What's up my people? It's your boy Uncle Moody You know, today again being on a Friday Yeah, I know I've not been posting a lot of videos I've not been uh, yeah uploading a lot of videos uh you know sometimes when you have to balance uh youtube you have to balance again uh, some other external factors it becomes challenging but i promise you guys i'm going to bring a lot of content for this month stay tuned i'll make sure i'll be posting frequently now today is a chilly day you know just relaxing hey about norma Today is a chilly day, you know, just relaxing in the house and uh, we are going to do something. We are going to prepare something. We are going to we are going to prepare pilau. Yes, pilau. I'm not the one going to prepare. Someone else is going to prepare. She is camera shy. She doesn't want to be filmed. But stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing video. You know, let's see how Pilau is prepared. I'll see you. Hey, remember to subscribe. Hi guys, good evening. Uh, welcome, welcome again to Uncle Moody's channel. So today we are going to prepare Pilau. And before that, guys, please, please, please go to your, to, to your YouTube's and kindly subscribe, uh, promote him and continue subscribing to his channel. So today we will be preparing pilau and welcome guys. And please remember to subscribe and share to your fellow people. Yes, remember to subscribe to Uncle Moody's channel, share with friends, share with family. Today, <clears throat> as she has said, we are preparing pilau. Yes, pilau. Pilau is one of the tasty food from the coastal part of Kenya originating from the Swahili people I believe so yeah so uh, for my for those guys who don't understand what pilau is what kind of food pilau is basically pilau is a mixture of rice uh, with beef you can prepare it with beef you can prepare it with chicken you can prepare it with uh, mutton but the best meat for you to prepare with uh for you to make pilau is actually beef beef you never go wrong with beef right okay before i take you on the ingredients part this is rice. we have here rice uh we have here our beef which will be preparing uh pilau uh, some ingredients here this is a uh, black pepper this is network cinnamon sticks no those ones cloves yeah Gloves, then this ones. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks. This one. Cumin seeds. Cumin seeds. Okay. So someone basically uh, they can choose to either blend them, uh huh, because they are at times too bitter. Okay. Yeah. Or you can just uh, go to the supermarket or wherever in a mall, get them while they are already grounded. Okay. S still, you can still use them all. And then the type of rice, when you're also preparing uh, pilau, you really have to be soaking on the type of rice you're using. Normally basmati or pearl rice. I love pearl because it's, um, it's amazing and it's flavor. You guys can try it out. And also basmati. Some people like uh, shori. So whatever the, the, the rice or type of your choice, you can right. go with any. So you said someone can get this from supermarket, which is a mixture of all these yeah. spices, yeah, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm being told that I was not aware, but I'm being told if you walk into a supermarket, you can actually get a, you can actually purchase all these ingredients in one uh, can. Yeah. So here we have uh, these are onions, uh, this kitungu saumu. 
Kitu msomo in English? <laughs> garlic. Garlic. Mm-hmm. Garlic. Here we have tangawizi. That's ginger. Ginger. Tangawizi mm-hmm. in English is ginger. Uh, we have here uh, uh, this is paste. tomato paste for what? Uh, so for pilau, uh, normally we require a lot of onions for mm-hmm. that taste and uh, tomato paste because you know we don't we don't want to find some bumpy bumpy things you know when you're using this other tomato or even um when you blend the tomato and then the tomato paste comes with a certain type of taste mm. so we ju- we're not going to use you see we're not having any tomatoes here as our ingredients okay. so we're just going to use the tomato paste this one is going to serve on the uh, place of um, tomato because of the, also the color and then uh, a lot of onions here so this one is going to replace the tomato fruit yeah and it's also going to bring a certain uh, taste which is also amazing and nice when you're also preparing your your plow always try as much as you can to get a tomato paste you can either get it in this can mm-hmm. or you can get it at an affordable price in such as okay yeah they are uh, available everywhere wait you you said i uh, will be using a lot of onions uh yeah. for what purpose um test for or oh, to bring out the yeah, as much as yeah test, test, okay. as much as um as much as you're also going to have this particular pilau masala or uh-huh. the pilau ingredients uh-huh. onions are a very high quanti- high amount of onions is recommended because it brings this particular test in the pilau and because you have to let it uh cook till it turns golden brown so they have to be literally a lot a lot all right yeah. right now what changes are rice uh, from white to brownish because is it for pilau masala which don't always change color or uh, is um, it because of meat no 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 not not really meat basically it's the you have to let your onions um uh, cook till they turn golden brown uh-huh. and uh, the mixture of all these ingredients okay these basically are going to make your pilau to turn its color from that particular color to a different color mm-hmm. so yeah it's basically the ingredients and the uh, and the onions here all right so let's start preparing and then uh, you have you also need to have a mixture of ginger and uh, garlic garlic yeah all right mm. all right let's start preparing guys stay tuned stay with us and let's see how we are going to prepare this pilau yeah i told you subscribe and here we start so tunaanza na so sasa kwa pilau yetu leo tutaanza kwanza na kuchemsha nyama mm-hmm. alafu pia watu pilau ukiweza pika mweza tumia kitu chochote mm, wengine wanapenda kutumia pilau uh, watatumia pilau ya kuku wengine watapika pilau hata wengine wanapika na nyama ya mbuzi kwa hivyo sisi leo tutatumia uh, beef maana kesi tunapenda beef basmati kwa kwa pilau so start kianza tutaanza we start by um, boiling our meat here tutaanza na kuchemsha nyama kwanza uh, meanwhile as we also prepare our ingredients over there because we have to cut the onions uh, uh, to bonde bonde hizo vitungu saumu na jinja huku nyama yetu ikichemka for about uh, 20 minutes 20 habibi come to Dubai, Dubai. <laughs> Eh hey, sasa mwana Hadija. Eh eh eh. Maimuna amesema. Anyway guys, for those who don't understand Swahili or Kiswahili wizi, which eh hey, Swahili which is one of the national language in Kenya, uh, basically she has said that we will begin by boiling this meat first of all. Uh what what follows next? You're going to boil it so as it's it's boiling uh, yeah. we we'll basically be preparing the ingredients over there because you see the onions over there we have to slice them wash our rice and then we're going to boil it for about 20 to 30 minutes all right yeah some can take less minutes you can uh, do it depending with a uh, specific time or duration that you want to boil your meat but uh, personally i prefer 20 to 30 minutes all right boiling it to ta- chambua vitungu sawu yetu hapa now we have to start preparing all these ingredients to cut the vitungu pamoja na jinja uh, guys this is a uh, garlic uh, we are going to peel the outer coat so that uh, we remain with the inner part then cut it into pieces uh, what else are we going to cut also ginger we are also going to cut ginger and then the onions will come later then uh, the onions will come later these are the red onions yeah which you can use 
Yeah, and then for this tuta tutaikaanga, mm. tutaika kwa meko tukaange, alafu tutabonda bonda, tunge tungeza kutumia blender ukiwa na blender waweza zisiaga. Okay. Unaweza saga zote kwa pamoja lakini kwa sababu wakati huu mtashwishi mm-hmm. flani, mtaziweka kwa moto kama dakika moja hivi, alafu baada hapo nijaribu kukanda. Naweka kidogo maana kidogo sitaki kuweka mingi, sitaki ukali. Kwa hivyo hizi ndio nitaka kwa quantity ikiwa kwa wingi sana. I will elaborate more uh, once we start the, with this ones but for now let's cut this uh, garlic why are you pressing them hmm? okay why do you have to press like this with your it, knife it becomes more easier uh-huh. to peel yeah like that yes oh okay Ooh, I'm crushing it. Bombe yangu imemwagika. So far, everything good. Our beef is going is boiling properly. Does it have uh, yeah, it to be soft? Yeah, All right. We are going to cook this beef until the texture is soft too soft so soft whichever soft as long as you know when you bite it you don't struggle you don't struggle everything goes mwe <laughs> right ivo tshongeza maji maana ke kwa shanza kuungua uko chini sasa tunaongeza maji hivi tunangoja kitu kama dakika 20 ama 30 minutes alafu ndo tuanze tuendelee sasa. Kwa hivyo sasa hizi tutaendelea kuchemka. Tuchemsha nyama yetu hapa, alafu tutaangalia tu jinoi sisi huko tukiendelea kukata kata vitunguo na vitu vingine hapa. Kwa hivyo tutaifunika tuendelee kuchemka. Guys, you might be wondering uh, <coughs> where has all the meat gone? Anyway, we have added water for the meat to continue boiling uh, so that it gets soft. Right now it's not soft. Yeah, stick with us. Let's continue with this cooking of pilau. Today your boy Uncle Godi is eating one of those coastal delicious food. Yeah, for the Swahili, for the Waswahili, the Swahili speakers in this watching this video, you know what pilau is. For those who don't understand what pilau is, you can google, uh, you know, just to have a an idea of what pilau is but wait for the final product i'll have to is it great mm. this uh the kitungu saumu aha uh-huh, i hope this one, this one is this one is way faster than uh, actually kubonda yeah kubonda kwa vile hauna kitu kinu na mchi manake ni upenda kuzibonda small time first of kinu ni Ojie kitu kutumia kubonga kitungu saumu. Ah. Yeah. Yanaitwa kinu. Yeah. In English. Mota pestle. Oh, P E S T L E. Oh, yeah, mota exactly. so mota and pestle. Yeah. I need to purchase that one. Yeah. All right. Uh, Quite. I'm being told I need to purchase mota and pestle so that I can be able to what is kugonga in English? Oh, I don't see you. It's <laughs> yeah so that they can crush them inside the mortar is the is the bowl or uh, I love them pesto pesto you do bien when i'm gani hold your camera yeah like that so every how is it it's supposed to be okay it's fine you can work with this mm-hmm. it's okay all right I'm going to grate this uh, garlic and also this uh, ginger. ginger yeah tangawizi tangawizi ginger ginger in Kiswahili is called tangawizi
uh, I have here um, jumps are not aware anyway this is not the main deal the main deal is pilau which is which we are preparing I'll see you Mm -hmm. This is a mixture of black pepper, cloves, cumin seeds. Alright. So we let ya be saga. Mm-hmm. The vitam shakwanza is also papa moja. Mm-hmm. Uh one minute. Guys, basically what we are doing, we are uh, heating a... Uh, this is uh, cumin seeds, uh, cloves and black pepper. Uh, we are heating them to bring out that aroma or that uh, nice smell. Is it smell, is it scent or is it aroma? Aroma. Aroma, aroma well, sounds better. Nice scent, uh, smell, uh, it's general, in, it's bad. Okay. Will they be doing like popcorns? No, like no, popping, no, no, popping? No, no, oh, it's, okay. it's just going to, to heat for like about one minute and then it will happen. For one minute? Yeah. Alright, let's see what's happening here. Ooh. Our beef is boiling hot. Hmm? Snack after snack. Guys, can you be able to hear that sound? Listen to that sound. Hmm, it's smelling nice. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm, they are smelling nice. Mm -hmm. The pilau is not yet ready, but these things are burning like uh, they are bringing that uh, pilau aroma. Soup put it to me. Um, kwa kama mchuzi ya katika tuki ende ya katika pilau kwa hivyo tutaiti ya tutu yake kando. I think 20 minutes uh, Guys, our beef is ready. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this uh is it soup or stew? Soup. I'm going to remove this soup and pour inside this other soup area so that uh this one is completely dried up. Then we continue with the cooking process. Hey, hey cooking pilau, kunyambia cooking pilau is such a... Cooking pilau requires a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically going to pour this soup in this soup here. Don't worry about those ones, I'm going to pick them. I'm going to transfer to transfer them back to their to the original sufria. Yeah, this is our pilau sufria. You guys can see. Now uh, I've actually uh, removed all the soup. Now what I'm going, let me return this other one. Is there any other remaining beef? No, everything is okay. All right. Next. Mafuta. Mafuta. He is using ghee. So we're gonna use ghee for this pilau. Yeah. I I normally use ghee to you know for cooking and uh, even this pilau we are going to cook it using ghee. Yeah. You guys will try out cooking with ghee. It's amazing unless you are um, you are allergic to animal products. Personally, I've never, I've never used ghee when preparing pilau, mm. so I, I did this. We're gonna try it and see. Mm -hmm. Is the heat too much? No, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Let me use this kamata. This is a kamata guys by the way. For those who don't know what kamata is, is this one. It's kamata the sufuria. It kamata is basically to hold. Or is it to hold or to to push come to for English yeah, in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> kamata is basically ka, kamata in English is basically to hold. Now and this thing is called a kamata. So it kamata the sufuria like this. You can lift the sufuria up 
and it gives you an easy time when you are preparing food. What is kamata in English? Kamata in English. Holder. <laughs> Lead holder. <laughs> Sufuria holder. Yeah, you. Oh, the beef is turning brown. Should I reduce the heat? Yeah, you can just speed up. All right, all right. Let's reduce. I think that's okay. All right. Our beef is ready. As as you guys can see, it has turned uh, brownish in color, which is the perfect color uh, when cooking pilau or uh, you know for pilau. And we are just about to add the onions, the red onions. You can see the onion is quite a lot. Mm. So we leave it to cook. Mm. Someone give me ugali right now. Ugali fry fry. Ugali naka fry fry. Hmm, they look nice. Alafu, buti kwa vitu ngu za pilau, don't really just cut them. I still need slice, you can cut them with you around the kubwa. In a spatula? Yeah, ama asa kama si spatula, lakini ziwe kubwa kubwa. Okay. Eh, si ndogo ndogo, kama ambao wapika beef stew, ama kama wapika hizo ma seroko, seroko ni folio, dengu, ama... Yani siu mingine, kwa pilau, una kata kubwa kubwa hata kama zita toka round kama uta kata vipi na pazi kwe kubwa mwaniya koreandra kwa hivyo kwa steps zake wana zitumia pia mhm oh daniya in english is koreandra 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 oh i didn't know you didn't know i didn't know eh english is ngumi English is English. English is English. <laughs> hey! English. You didn't know. Wazungu, mwini tuteza na hiki zungye nyo. Wani samaki zika chenga nyikuwa kwa maji. Kwa hivyo hizi, kazi ya kakani. Lafu hizi tutaeka mwisho. Alright. So this is a Korianda. Korianda. Fresh Korianda. Fresh Korianda. Korianda stocks or what? Stems. Stems. Then here we have the coriander leaves. We are going to mix it. We'll just mix it some. So for the stems, uh -huh. uh, when we'll be placing the tomato paste, uh -huh. I'll also mix uh, the coriander stems with it. Oh. Then these ones will come a little for all right. preparation and all that. Um, Let's go to the little bit of a brown. Now she is basically saying uh, for, my, for those people who don't understand Swahili, uh, right now you can clearly see the onions are not, uh, they have not turned uh, to goldish brown, right? Yeah. Uh, golden brown. brown. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait for the onions to turn to golden brown yeah. so that you add the other spices or ingredients. Yes, but uh -huh. right now we have to wait. Yeah. Yes guys, now the onions have turned to goldish brown and we are going to add a mixture of uh, garlic and ginger. Mwema kini, venyu vusi mbue. Ivo mbua? Eh, umeban, umechoma. Is that jealousy? Jealousy is nothing. Is that jealousy? <laughs> a snack burning another snack. No, that is? The pilau. 
Kwa hivyo sasa pilau masala. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Oh, ndio pilau masala bali. Okay. Sasa kusikia hapa. Mhm. Na kile vitu za ndambie zipo chanza kungua. Mhm. Chanza kuweka sasa viungo vyetu. Ah. Uh, da pilau ndio kuiva kwa pamoja. Ndio pia nyama nini? So now you are adding pilau masala. Eh. Okay. Pilau masala bado ndo da pilau. Dawa ya pilau. Mm. 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 Right. Mm. 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 A uh, pinch of salt or a pinch of cumin seed or whatever uh, to use, but just use your eyes. Make, make sure your eyes is your, your, your weighing scale. Are you talking? Yes, it's dog. I just got to my mother in Guinea. Oh, I just find the left one. We found a new cafe in Gombe. Gombe, we are going to record cubes. Come on, baby, we will be able to do my hairs. Cubes, ah, that's what I'm going to do. 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 Cubes, ah, Royco cube. Yeah. Okay. Moja. Ah ah. Ah ah. Ini ni about to be chemsha So we need to add water so that it it, the, it doesn't get sticky at the bottom and also the sufuria doesn't burn. Cheers. You don't drink? No, I don't. She doesn't drink. She doesn't want to be seen on the camera, but she just want to cook pilau. It looks more thick. Yeah. Uh, more dark in color, brownish, and uh, this is a mixture of all the pilau ingredients, the spices, and also beef. And currently, we are adding a uh, tomato paste instead of using uh, tomatoes, the tomato fruit. You, are, you can use the tomato paste, which is always the best option for pilau. For pilau, yeah. <laughs> not for. For for cooking, you, you, uh, no no no. You can still use the when, when you're cooking. Assuming you're preparing beef uh -huh. or even any other matumbo nini. Unaweza tumia bado. Unajua tomato pesto ina leta yani ina leta testi gine. Mburi lakini pilau yani pilau haswa lazima tu tumie tomato pesto. Kama huna ni sawa. Majisha na ikishika hivi chini na kumbuka ile mikicha yetu. Oh, 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 guys! By the way, uh, it's getting sticky at the bottom, and remember the the soup I had uh, removed from this soup here, this big one. We are adding it back. We are pouring it back. We are pouring it, it, it back. We are we are pouring it back to the to the bigger soup here. Really, stems the coriander stems as we can have. Yeah, the coran the coriander stalks. We need to again. Uh, we add the coriander stock. Add, add it, add it. Mm -hmm. I have to Hold start. Uh -huh. Woo! 
I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah, it's smelling nice. Ah, ooh. It's smelling nice. Oh, so you have you have to add salt. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, as I told you, uh, I've not been posting uh, quite a lot, especially this month, and uh, not not this month. Already we are in August. Uh, for the month of July, for the month of July, I have been posting uh, quite a lot, and uh, hopefully, come this month of August, I'm going to try as much as possible to give you plenty, to give you guys plenty of content. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. You know, support your boy Uncle Modi. Remember to leave a like on my video. Some of us we are watching my videos, but we are not leaving a like. Please, guys, I beg you, leave leave a like subscribe and watch till the end yes mambo ndo hayo umesikia venye mwana hadija amesema mwana hadija alisema nini <laughs> eh hey, umesikia venye alisema guys anyway we are almost we are actually almost this is the final stage of cooking pilau and at this particular time we are going out at this right now right now we are going to add our rice in the sufuria which contains beef and a mixture of all other ingredients the tomato paste name everything you guys from the beginning of this video i've already mentioned some of the spices that we are going to use ingredients yeah everything is right in here Sir? You it's three glasses. So for three glasses, we're gonna I use six cups of water. Kisha kwa hivi kuchagari manake tume zipati ya muda zimi bapa moja tisha katomato first. Kuskia patla kitu kuchagari. Lafu. Mtaosha, mchelewenyu, mcheletu wapa, pal, mewosha vizuri, kwa hivyo we just add it in here. So guys, this is, uh, we have already washed the rice, uh, this is pal rice, and now we are going to add, you know, to mix with the beef stew. Is it made a beef stew, Ama? No. Oh, <laughs> see, but no beef stew. It's a beef stew. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Guys, this is three cups of rice. I told you guys uh we were basically measuring using our eyes, so we are not going to give you guys like specific measurements for you to use, but uh depending with the quantity that you want to cook, yeah, you will put that in mind. So this is a mixture of uh rice, uh this is uh, actually yeah. This is a mixture of rice, beef, and all the other ingredients. You can clearly see it's kind of brownish, brownish in color. And uh, right now, what are we going to do next? Okay. All right. All right. So we are going to wait for it to, you know, for a few minutes just to heat up. Then we are going to add water. Remember, we still have this soup here. So basically, we will start with this one. Then we add uh, water. You know, then we let it boil, right? Yeah, so we let it cook now. Yeah, we let it cook. And our pilau will be ready. Guys, stay tuned and wait for the final product. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be delicious. This is a very big avocado. Avocado. This pil this pillow is going to be delicious. Now this thing was overflowing. Hold, 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 I remove it. 
kilao yetu inaendelea kuchemsha chemka kitu na nataka kumwaga pilau huyu hapa anataka kumwaga pilau hata na adabu wewe sasa bado inaendelea pole pole tu atanguza moto nianze kujikoa pole sikia hapo na koroga tu kidogo hivi Majirani na walika kwangu mkuje aliko Spokea ndugu na dada salamu Kujeni tukule pilau maridadi Tukashibe tujisahau tufurai Kesho siku jumamusi Tukumbuke ipilau Ata ukule sani mbili bado utataka uongeze we <laughs> ah i can be a musician but only when it comes to singing for pilau <laughs> when it comes to food yeah i've actually reduced the heat i think right now it's okay guys you know still remember to subscribe Stay tuned. At the stay? <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Tell them subscribe. Subscribe. Tell them subscribe. Subscribe guys. Sub uh, subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe to Uncle Moody's channel. Sub subscribe. Subscribe. We are almost there. We are almost there, guys. We still have to, you know, uh, start slowly by slowly. Then we leave it to, uh, for the, you know, to dry up. Unasemaje mwana Hadija? Mwana Hadija kapika pilau, pilau kanukia. Mm. It smells nice. Mm. It really smells nice. Wow. Now? Tayacha. Tafuni katana same kupunguza moto kwa chini kabisa. We have totally reduced the heat. I'm being told you can place, you can cover on top here with an aluminium foil. Then uh, for those using a uh, charcoal to cook, then you 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 actually collect a little over the hot charcoal. You place on top of the aluminium no, foil. No, not on top of the aluminium. Not foil. on top of the aluminium. Shake aluminium foil. Una, una eka lid. Oh, lid. The lid. Oh, now you place the aluminium foil. Then you place the lid on top. Uh huh. Yeah, la fusta me kama ka. Oh, la papa ndo tuneka our our burning charcoal mm. on top of the lid. All right, all right. Let's wait for the final product. I can't wait to eat this pilau. Yo, good news guys, I'm being told our pilau is ready. Can't wait, can't wait to, can't wait to dandia that pilau, can't wait to, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm being told our pilau is ready. Let's go and see. Let's go and see what has been prepared. Let's go and see how it's tasting. Mm -hmm. Oh, you added the coriander leaves mm. on top. Oh, yeah. nice, 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 nice. So that's the end product. This is the end product. Yeah, you can take it with any stew of your choice. Uh -huh. Kachumbari, most preferably, you should always be there with You see, for this one, mm -hmm. I prefer taking it without a stew. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kachumbari? 
Kachumbari, yeah, kachumbari is okay. You can also take it with kachumbari for those who don't know kachumbari. Kachumbari is basically what we call salsa or salad. <laughs> yeah, salsa or salad, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Next step, serving. 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 Then we have avocado there, which is going to be, you know, part of this. And uh, I can't wait to. <laughs> Yes, guys, you know, it has been a wonderful evening and uh, it's time to enjoy the... Once manga, enjoy the... What of your labor? Effort or what? Fruits. 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 Uh, this, is, this was our labor. Actually, our labor was cooking this pilau and we are about to enjoy the fruit of our labor and basically that, you know, everything. We are hoping that, you know, this pilau is going to be delicious is going to be tasty hey before we start eating subscribe mama ntilie niongeze kidogo nikakule nishibe sijui kama ntashiba leo nikishiba no this is not enough add 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 that is hey that is too little for me hey Hii ni kama na lala nja. Hmm? Hii inahitaji plates kama mm. I need like um I need to eat oh, like two to three plates. Wow. Yeah, so that like my stomach can get full and it can push me till morning. I don't want to wake up in the middle of of the night looking for food. Yeah, now that one. Uh that one is enough for first round. So this is for first round. Yeah, for first round, this is enough. Okay, so guys, that is our beef pilau. Yeah, this one is for Uncle Moody, and he says it's for the first round. Yeah. I don't know how many rounds he won at two. Two to three. All right. Two to three rounds is enough. Okay. Mine. We, we, how many rounds do you prefer? Two to three. <laughs> We are talking about the pilau rounds. We are talking about... <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, why, why, why did you have to pause? You didn't um, have to pause. <laughs> for me, I, I'd say maybe two. The first one, maybe if the uh, the second round, if I am not yet full, then I can go for the for second the third round. round. Oh, yeah, the second round. Oh, so if the first round you are not full, you can go for the second round. Okay, yes. let's see. Let's see how it's going to turn out. And I want those nyamas. She wants those, those nyamas. <laughs> she, really? she, she, she wants nyama. <laughs> and also, that one is okay for the first yeah. round. Hmm, it's too small. At least mine is bigger. No, you really you love eating. So, I, la I, la I love eating. Una angusha, una angusha, Bismillah, Yan. Bismillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, bis wa Bismillah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. This avocado. We're going to eat with fork. Use whatever you you want to. Ina. Want to avocado? Hmm. But kidogo. It has to be as clean, <laughs> no evidence of green stuffs of a kedo. I'm just kidding, you guys, you know. I'm about to eat this snack. But don't go to the cabinet. Eh, to see mom. Any mingi. Ah, to pull a yoke. Woo! Hmm. Yeah, my plate is full. Yeah. I'm loving this. Happy 
Avocado is delicious. Mm. I'll eat this avocado later. When I'll okay. be going for the third round. Alright. So I'm not going to use fork. Uh, You're going to use a spoon, which is okay. Yeah. I'll not be doing myself just.